We're here on the RV Mega Stand and they have the latest Bailey brands come in. We're going to have a look at this with Gavin. Gavin works with the RV Mega and they are based in Mount Monganui. So you told me this is a game cha changer, Gavin. What's the story? Yeah, we've had a great deal of interest both pre-release and indeed this weekend for the release of the new Bailey Adamo range. Now the Bailey Adamo has been eagerly anticipated based on the fact primarily that it's on the new Ford Transit chassis and it covers, comes along of course with a 2 litre turbocharged engine and an automatic transmission. It's a bit of a game changer in regards to the fact it's coming in in three different formats. This particular version is actually pre-production, it's a prototype, it's actually the only one in the world that up until now the general public can walk into and physically sit in and enjoy. The three models that are coming in include this model, the 694. Let's this hop over and I'll look at the floor plan while you're telling us that. Certainly. This particular model, priced at 151990, allows for a full lounge area at the front and a single drop, uh, sorry, a queen size drop down bed above it to drop down. Large bathroom at the rear, large storage lockers at the rear. This is only 6.9 metres long, okay. It's, it's very compact and it's very spacious inside. The decor and design has been catered for lovely to create a very spacious feel inside. Movable hydraulic table, everything's easy. Okay, very, very easy. well I see Bruce is inside there taking photos for the review. Let's have a look in this boot area. You were telling me that people are finding this to be really working for some of their needs. Absolutely, a very versatile boot space. Firstly, as you can see by my height, I'm about five foot 10 standing beside the van effectively. This is the lower door. This particular cavity goes right across the rear of the vehicle. Starting on this side, of course, coming right across. But on the other side of the vehicle, we have a pilot door. As you can see, it's well above my arm height there. So this particular cavity allows you to store longer items on this side of the vehicle and it also features a hanging rack for sporting goods, for wetsuits, whatever else you may need that you may be using outdoors that you don't want inside the vehicle. So let's go and have a look inside now. And uh, you've got three models coming. This is the only one on show, though? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, this is the prototype version. This one was actually hand-built right. and delivered here just in time specifically for the show. No one else in the world has had the opportunity to actually be inside one of these yet. So, so we've got a preview going on. We've got a preview going <laughs> on. And it was really well accepted. We released it. We actually took the cover off it for the first time for the New Zealand public at 10 a.m. on Friday. There was great crowds here, and it was received very warmly, and already the interest has been huge. Great. Let's go and have a look inside. Please. Okay, it has the inbuilt step. Stepping up, we have your dining with two couches facing each other. There, we have the Luton area with a really nice um, roof vent lighting, plenty of storage there. Of course, you've got your swivel seats, which turn around with your armchair feel. Being the Ford Transit, you've got cruise control, all of your controls for your radio and stereo are on your steering wheel. So, very nice, Gavin. Tell us a bit about the features inside here. Certainly. Let's move, to, let's start just with the main living area. As you can see, there's two spacious couches, suitable for two on one side, where you're sitting, and of course, potentially three on the other, which with your captain's chairs at the front there, allow a good living area. It does. One of the big advantages is this table. Now this table here can be used for, if it was the two of us here, having dinner, wine, cheese, whatever it may be. As you can see, there's plenty of room around that. But let's say we have some extra friends around and we want to change the position of this table. This table will move, slide, pivot and turn to any degree. Now also, that means, let's say I have dinner for six that want to come around, I can actually fold this table out turn it to any degree, move, pivot, and place it in any angle whatsoever to cater for up to six people dining around the table. Now bear in mind we're on a 6.9 metre van. Yeah, that's okay. really good. That, now, I noticed something above us here too. You do indeed. So we have the bed. Electric bed, is it? Absolutely. So this bed here it is fully electric. The advantage for this here is that you can, of course, leave your bed fully made up, as I'm sure you're all aware. This is a very, very spacious bed. I actually had a gentleman in here yesterday, six foot five in height, and he could actually lie straight across, transversely across the bed. It's 186 or 187 meters long. 1.87 meters. Sorry, <laughs> 1 1.87 meters. And we're talking at about 155 centimeters wide. Yes, that's generous. Wide. Well, so let's generous. push the button and see it in action. Certainly. 
one thing I will add though is that first of all we've got to get this table out of the way. Right. Now the advantage with this unit is it is actually a four berth unit both for transport and indeed for sleeping. So although we only have a single drop down bed, this couch area will convert to another double bed if you have friends over that decide to stay. So a bit of a bunk situation. A bit of a bunk situation and that can be done also remotely with my table being on a hydraulic ram. Wow, that's cool. That can be adjusted like so. Nice. Nice and easy. It is nice and easy. No problem. Okay. Now, um, okay. There we go, with the push of a button. Certainly. So once we've got our table down and we've got plenty of space, we can select the, the appropriate height of this bed. Now let's say you've got friends over. We can pop a ladder on this one and we can see. Okay. So as we can see, folks, should you have friends over that want to stay the night, we can make up the lower couch situation to another good size bed for two. We can drop this one to a half height and with a ladder situation hop up, very, very well sized bed. Or indeed, of course, we can actually come all the way down with this one. So you can side. just hop onto it Absolutely. without the ladder. And once I remove this, remove the cushions from that there, this bed will actually come down right to hobs, hob height, squab height, sorry, oh, yeah. which is actually going to be about knee height for the average person. Oh, that's the side cushions stay in place when you bring the bed down and all my, they're acting like a bed head. Very nice. It's on this side here. Just going to look this at the seating. Looking at the table again as he pushes the button and it comes up. Turn, pivot, slide, move. Dinner for six. That tucked away nicely to one side there, Gavin. Yeah, it's great. Although it's a permanent fixture on the table, a permanent fixed table on a hydraulic ram, you can actually tuck it away with the use of the slide. As, you, as we've seen, we can go from here to the centre, but we can tuck it out of the way and it doesn't inhibit our flow in and out of the driver's cabin. No, that's good walk through. Now show us the seating, because this is a four berth, though we can't see it right now. Absolutely. Primarily, of course, if there's only two of you travelling, everything's hidden, everything's tucked away. We've got a bed for two, we've got a driver's seat and a passenger seat. But let's say you've got friends over that actually want to go out, come along for the ride. Underneath each side of the couch squabs, we actually have a fully certified and approved fold-up seat. Now this is a three-point diagonal lap belt, sorry, three-point diagonal belt system, which will accommodate children's seat, booster seats, or indeed a dog harness if you chose to. Okay. And there we have that seating tucked away and back into that lovely comfortable couch. Now let's have a quick look at the kitchen, Gavin, what's going on in here? We've actually got a whole lot of operational space here in the kitchen. So currently at the moment, as you can see, we've got a very nice wide kitchen surface here, appointed with a sink and a four port hob. The four port hob consists of one electric hot plate and three gas ports, okay? We also have a bench extension which can fold up when required for additional space. That's very handy. Underneath the gas hob we have a grill and indeed the oven which will accommodate a good sized chicken should you need to. Above the kitchen we have large, two large storage cupboards on the, directly above it and these of course can be fitted out with an assortment of racks as required. That's all looking very nice and over on this side. Certainly directly behind me and above the door we have of course all of our control panels Accent lighting, an assistance handle to gain entry, our TV placement on a pivoting bracket of course, a good sized Tetford fridge. And it has a freezer box inside It has a freezer fridge. box located at the top. Very nice. And at the rear there I see behind we have a lovely bathroom. We do indeed. Now this is one of the coup de grace of this particular unit. It's a, it's a rear base bathroom, okay. Basically we have our sliding screen. Privacy, of nice. For privacy. We have our toilet, and then off to this side of the bathroom, we have a large full-size shower, and it is a very, very spacious shower. Please. Let's see. Glass doors or acrylic doors? Acrylic doors. Nice. Okay. Yeah, as you may notice also, there's a couple, heating there's a couple, port. There's a couple of heating ports down here at the base, of course, for the heating system. The other thing we have kind of hidden away, and you don't really notice it until you walk in, is that large garage that we saw at the start of the video, we have an internal access panel which allows us to grant access. So if the weather's not too sharp outside, we can actually reach through and gain entry to our garage if we've got a chill box in the back there, or we want to check on the pets, whatever it may be. 
Now the advantage of having that panel there is that it also creates a bit of space up on the top. You may know, directly above it and behind the nice mirror, we have a rather large... Oh, that is a very impressive storage. That's an actual true linen cupboard. <laughs> it is indeed. That is very good. And complete with hanging racks also. Very nice. So tell me again, Gavin, what was the this model and how much are we talking? Certainly. So this particular model, first delivery is scheduled to arrive in December this year. This one is the prototype. We've jumped the gun a little bit and we have got confirmed numbers coming, which have created a lot of interest. This model is the 694, 6.9 metres long, priced at a shade under $152,000. The other two models we have coming are on a 7.5 meter length, one of which hosts a permanent rear island bed, the same front configuration that you see in this vehicle, but it also hosts a drop down bed above the lounge. That allows you effectively to sleep six people if you chose to, because the lower lounge, the front lounge also makes up into another bed. Well, so there's definitely some good models coming in to have a look at from RV Mega and Mount Monganui. Absolutely, the third model, has a large u-shaped lounge drop down bed above the u-shaped lounge front dining and lounge area and the front drop down bed enabling you to sleep should you choose to up to eight people or wow. a 7.5 meter length that's fantastic and, and of course the u-shaped lounge is the most popular model that new zealand is like isn't absolutely. it absolutely and price point for that one there about 155,000. wow that's very 000. good as well yep. arriving december cool thanks for your time gavin i'm sure our watchers and readers are going to really appreciate your knowledge no problem thanks for viewing people bye-bye